art challenges and why you should try them. So there are a plethora of different art challenges all along the internet that you could find something that tickles your fancy. Typically they are month long challenges, sometimes a little bit shorter where you'll have a theme and the goal is to draw something in that theme every day for the week or month or however long it is. And I think they're really, really great practice. Um, however, a lot of people are intimidated by them because a month dedication is actually quite hard, especially if you're busy. I really feel though that it shouldn't inhibit you from trying it um, even if you're not going to do the entire month. Um, I know personally it is very hard to get through an entire month, but it feels so good when you're able to do it. So if you can manage your time well, I would suggest at least once you complete a month. But if you can't, no, no hard feelings. I mean, it should be for fun and growth anyways. I think the main purpose of it really should be your own personal development and keeping to a schedule and a theme actually really helps with that. A lot of people have issues thinking that they're not creative, but I really feel like creativity is more like a muscle and it takes practice to let it out, be comfortable with it, and to continue working. Uh, and these art challenges give you just enough parameters to kind of not give you too many options, but still be pretty wide open. And it's also very inspiring to see your fellow artists work within the theme as well. It, you see so many different ways that a design has been interpreted and it's a lot of fun and very, very inspiring. Besides giving you a list of ideas of what you can draw, um, sometimes these challenges are specific to certain types of mediums. And if you find yourself liking a challenge that is not specific to a medium, it, it's a good, um, idea maybe to try to go about it on your own by limiting yourself and what materials you use. Maybe you want to get better at um, brush inking so maybe try a challenge for a set amount of time and the only thing you're allowed to use is a brush pen. You'll see improvements from start to finish I guarantee as long as you are diligent and really put in a little bit of time to actually do it. The biggest problem is inconsistency and it's very hard to find time every day to work when art is not your full-time thing it's your full-time thing trying to find time to do a challenge when you have so much other work to do it could still be a little bit daunting um, there's only so many hours in a day and you have to prioritize what you're going to do so if you still want to participate some in a challenge of some sort and you don't have all the time in the world to work on it uh, again those limitations can help you getting or putting actually limitations on your time and how much you spend each day on it can also help you. It might help make you faster and might help you just squeeze it into a busy life. Doing these challenges doesn't require you to come out with a finished grandiose piece each time. Maybe it's just a study, maybe it is just a sketch. As long as you try to get through it, um, it does make a big difference. So I think we place a lot of pressure on ourselves with these challenges too because a lot of it is sharing and the big goal for people is to put that out there and engage in the community who's doing the same thing. And if you are feeling pressured or not good enough, it can easily get really difficult to continue. Um, a lot of people run out of gas, especially when they start to compare themselves to other people. And I think that's really the wrong way to go about it. I think we really should be entering a challenge with the thought that we're going to get better and outdo ourselves with each piece that we continue to make. Um, I know it's easier said than done. I am not going to lie. It's very easy to compare yourself or be a little disheartened by um, not getting as many likes as some as you might have hoped on something that you spent time on or really liked yourself but you know everyone's different and what they like is different and even on the internet with all the algorithms for everything it could be that the thing that you made is just not reaching the right audience there are different tastes for everybody and while some people might like one piece of art it really doesn't do it for another group of people it's just the way it is you're not going to like everything that someone puts out but it shouldn't stop you from continuing and always trying you will get better the more that you do art 
especially if you learn the right ways to practice and if you're a little real with yourself and i don't mean be overly self-critical but we don't really improve if we're just going to practice the same incorrect thing we have to learn how to see our flaws too but in a loving way so that we're not totally broken and don't want to keep trying learning to see i have found is one of the most critical things about learning art and doing a challenge and seeing other people's interpretations kind of helps aid with that. You can see how other people approach to the same thing. You can start to notice the things that you like about it and how they executed it while also doing the same um, thing and evaluating your own piece. Celebrate your little victories. Um, when you see flaws or things that you could have done better, aim for that next time or try to fix it. Nothing's written in stone. You don't have to share every piece that you do either, nor do you have to do every single day of a challenge in sequential order. That is a big mistake. I think people put too many um, restrictions on themselves and then are really let down when they fail because life happens. Maybe aim for shorter goals. So instead of the month long challenge, try to do one week and see how that goes and if you're finding that that was easy to do you can up it then but realistically don't beat yourself up if you find that you don't have enough time to complete a challenge in its entirety i do think that it's nice to commit yourself to at least one full challenge and try to get through it but if the sole purpose is to learn you don't need to do it there's no real rules that say you have to complete it or you're not going to become a better artist do what you can keep going and try to learn from it if you do art as a hobby or if it is your desire to go full-time with art of course it's going to take some time and practice to get there a challenge is a great way to kind of get you going and if you're someone who has a hard time filling a sketchbook do a challenge in one do several challenges in one every month people are coming out with great challenges um, that have some really interesting topics and there are communities of people who will share help critique if you ask for it and offer some some kind of guidance too if you're participating in it and then just show you some love um, and that can help boost your confidence if you don't find a challenge that you like as it is modify it take the ones that you like and shorten it for yourself and your own purposes or create one from scratch um, there's nothing wrong with doing that just don't be discouraged if you don't have a big following and you start a challenge don't expect to get a bunch of people participating in it it will still benefit you to go through the process do a bunch of these works that are in any particular theme a big popular one is inktober october of every year and um, jake parker puts out a list and that one is wildly popular so if you're looking for exposure community and to really do something that has almost gotten larger than life you can participate in one of those large ones um, or even backtrack do an old one just to get your feet wet if you're not ready to share you don't have to anyways guys we're nearing the end of this video on this little mushroom trio this is the fly agaric this month is may shroom and i really wanted to participate but uh, may has been a really busy month it started off busy because it is my birth month as well so i just jumped in randomly and it happened to be one of my favorite mushrooms to draw anyways so this is the fly agaric from may 5th uh, i have done in gouache links to all materials will be below the video stopped a little early so you didn't get to see me do the finishing touches with the grass but here it is and here are a couple of older challenges that i participated in this is the ice cream from adventure time reimagined of course and Daria and Jane from Daria, a favorite of mine in high school. And every year there is the challenge called Mermaid, which is wildly popular. This is my submission for one of the days um, from 2018, a Capricorn mermaid. Thanks guys, happy painting.